Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how we create a task list view in Salesforce Lightning. And the following topics we are going to discuss in today's video. We will learn to create, edit and delete the list view for task in Salesforce Lightning Edition. So let's begin by understanding what are tasks in Salesforce. So in Salesforce, tasks are to do items that need to be performed by the user to whom they are assigned. Tasks can easily connect to leads, contacts, campaigns, contracts, etc. So now we will learn to create a list view for a task in Salesforce Lightning. So here I open my Salesforce account in the Lightning Edition and for creating the list view for the task, firstly we have to click on this app launcher. Here we have a search bar. So search for task in it. Now click on this task under the item. It will show you all the tasks that are created. So here you can see that under this task, we have a drop down with the recently viewed pinned list. And all these are the list view in the Salesforce in task item that are predefined. But I want to filter out the task that have high priority and for this I don't have any list view so I need to create it for creating the list view I have to click on this gear icon here you have an option of a new so now I have to give the name to my list view so I name it as high priority task the list of API name is automatically set and it is used for the development purpose now you can set who can see this list view. I set it to only I can see list view. You can change it according to your preference. So after creating a list view, you have to click on this save. So here you can see that it create a list view having a name high priority task. But this list view not filter out anything until we assign some filters to it. So here you can see that it automatically opens the filter bar. By chance, this filter bar is not open. You can click on this filter icon. It will get open. So firstly, we have an option filter by owner. So here we have different list of owner. You can select it. I select for all tasks and click on done. Then you have to give some filter which is used to filter out the task. So you have to click on this add filter option. Now you have to assign the field on which you want to give some filter. As I told you, I want only high priority task. So I search for the priority field. Then I select the operator which is equal to. And from the value, we have three values, high, low and normal. But I want high priority task. So I click on this high and click on done. So here you can see that it creates a filter priority equals high. So now I click on save. So here you can see that it automatically shows you all the tasks that have high priority. So here we have four tasks that have high priority. So now next step is suppose you want to add some more. So for this you have to edit the list view or you want to change the name of this list view so for this purpose you also have to edit it so now we will learn to edit the list view so here you can see that we have an option of a clone if you want to copy this list view as it is but i don't want to copy it but i want to rename it so i click on this now i want to change its name to high priority waiting task so I add the word waiting and click on save. The rest of things remains as it is. So with this, we have successfully added the name of the list view. So again, I click on this gear icon. Here we have the next option for sharing the settings. If you want to change the sharing settings, you can change it also. So firstly, you can see that I have set it to only I can see this list view but now i want to change it all user can see this list view so i select the radio column and click on this again i click on this gear icon and here i have a added list filter so i click on it it will open this filter bar 
suppose i want to add some more filter and this time i want to add a filter for status as i want the high priority task but in the waiting status so i click on this add filter option i select for the field so now here i click on this field i have to select the field as i want to change the status so i click on this status i set the operator equals and i set its value to waiting on someone else as i want to filter out the high priority waiting task and then i click on this done and last i click on save so now you can see that it will filter out my task which have high priority and the status as waiting on someone else so with this we have successfully learned to edit the list view also so if you click on this gear icon we have one option for editing that is select fields to display so here you can see that by default it display fields subject name related to due date last modified assign priority status last modified but i want to change these fields so i click on this select field display and the fields available in available fields box are the total numbers of fields that task have and the visible fields that are visible on the screen but from this visible list field i don't need this due date so i remove it out by using this arrow and i also don't need the last modified so i also remove this one and i want to add the closed field to the visible field so i click on this arrow it will move to the visible list column and i click on the save so now you can see that it shows as the field subject name related to last modified assigned priority status and the closed so with this we have also learned to edit the fields that are displayed suppose at some moment of a time you not need this high priority waiting task list view and you decided to delete it out so for this you simply have to click on this gear icon and here we have an option of delete so click on this option and here it will shows us a pop up for the confirmation of the deletion so if you want to delete it click on this delete button it will automatically delete the list view that you have selected so from this list you can see that the list view with the name high priority waiting task not shown in this list view as we have deleted it so with this we have learned to create add it and delete the task list view in salesforce lightning if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day